So I read a fragmentary novel that is the recipient of the International Booker Prize and the author is a Nobel Laureate. But the question is, did I enjoy this one? So before I answer you, uh, let me tell you the plot overview of this book. This is Flights by Olga Tokarczuk. And as I said, this is a fragmentary novel, which means it's a collage of characters and anecdotes and storylines and pieces that are held together uh, using a central theme. And in this case, the theme is movement, motion, or let's just say momentum and to and fro movements and travel by individuals. A large part of this work deals with people that are traveling through airports or flights or ships or well most of the time this the most of the part of pages of this book are uh, devoted to travel and there is also this thing called travel psychology and people are like in constant motion most of the time and lives of globetrotters their habits and backpackers and how they live and why they don't grow roots anywhere. In fact, the uh, title, Polish title of this book, Beguni, so that means, well, that is the name of a cult. We, we believe that if you just stay somewhere for long and grow roots, the devil is going to get you. So the only way to trip devil is to just constantly keep moving. Uh, I can't imagine what this cult is doing in COVID-19 pandemic, but, well, I read the book. There's also another theme here, completely different from this one. I think it's balancing this whole movement thing. And that's really, uh, I don't know, it's just a more stationary thing, I'd say. Like freezing time or decay. So the another theme here is anatomy, preservation of bodies, uh, plastination, anatomical museums, displays, stuffed human beings. Whew. So basically, uh, it's really odd how these things can come together and honestly I think there is a definite lack of cohesion here but a fair amount of the book is devoted to preservation of human bodies and such uh, practices and in fact there is like clear instructions in some part of the book as to how to preserve a human body I mean you're gonna be an expert after reading this however I somehow believe that uh, you know after reading this book I have felt that I have mixed feelings about this one. Honestly, guys, I mean, sometimes it just felt confusing. The storylines are not linear. I mean, there are historical anecdotes, letters, letters, lectures on travel psychology, lectures on Greek civilization, and well, sometimes this just felt confusing. The storyline is non-linear, so you don't know which time, what, what time is it in a story, and they are arranged in a very haphazard manner. So. Most of the time I was really confused about it and it's a very excruciatingly difficult to read, I have to say. I mean, it took me one and a half weeks to read things in and I can't imagine how difficult it would be to write this thing. It is a great piece of art, it might be, but for me it's not really that stirring. I mean, I can't really relate to travel psychology and all the traveling thing. I'm a really the kind of guy that grows roots. I mean, I've rarely gone out of my home. Uh, just twice or thrice, so I can't really relate to this momentum thing. But that might be my failure to enjoy this book, but I do believe this translation could have been much better. I mean, that could have lent some life to this one, but the narrative just sometimes falls flat, and absolutely flat. At that and the difficulty in understanding the whole emotion and the people's understanding and people's reaction towards this travel psychology thing. and. Honestly, guys, this, all this haphazard to and fro movement is just bizarre. I didn't really enjoy this book, sorry. So, for a common, less erudite reader like me, I would not recommend this book. However, I do think that the part about the anatomical displays and museums and preservation and those historical story anecdotes that, and I don't know, highly fictionalized, fictionalized uh, parts there, but uh, yeah, those are really worth reading, I think so. So, if you're looking to gain some information and insight into plastination and things, then definitely this is the book. Also, I forgot to mention, there are like really, really old maps in here, and I, for the love of God, don't know what to do with this. I mean, way above my head. So, this is it for today, guys. If you, uh, if you want to see more interesting videos on this channel, stay subscribed. I'll be back with more videos. Bye.